Hey ladies and gents, Pete Hendricks here, Hendricks Classics. Today I want to show you how to do X strokes with a straight with a your straight razor when you're stropping. And I think that X strokes are really important because it allows you to have the blade connect with different parts of the strop, which um you know, which I believe can enhance the stropping. So this is a three inch strop and uh, you know, I start doing about 40 passes back and forth as a pass. Let me point out something about how to not cut up your uh, strop. So when you start going this way and you get ready to come back, um, don't lift the, the razor from the strop, uh, but turn it over and start coming back this way before you put the blade down onto the strop. So we're over, the, the spine doesn't come off. I set it down. Okay, so 40 of those. And then I usually do 10 of the back and forth with a very light touch. Uh, keep in mind that the, the uh, cutting edge on a straight razor is very, very thin, measured in molecules. So the X strokes. So, we're going to come down here. And then flip over. And do the same thing with the leather. Always run your hand on it until you feel some heat. One of the reasons I think X strokes are important is because three inch strops um, often will cup over time. And so the X strokes, as I said earlier, help you get the, the blade exposed to different parts of the strop. So over on this side, it's going to be the same thing. Uh, now it's going to be 40 back and forth. Remember, the spine never leaves the strop. Going in the other direction before you put the blade back down. And and then 10 light and then 10 X strokes. So here's some X strokes here. Now, it may be that you have a two inch drop. The advantage of two inch drops, one, is that they don't cup. And two, they're less expensive for comparable quality. So when you're stropping on a two inch or a one and a half is often out there, every stroke is gonna be an X stroke. And the key is that you don't go faster than you can maintain good form. So one thing that I have heard a lot of folks, usual, most folks hold both of them together, but on this one, the leather is longer. So the, the reason that I have learned that some folks are not doing X strokes is that they're worried about cutting up their strop. So here's what we're gonna do. You can practice this with a butter knife, okay? And the butter knife is not gonna damage your strop. Once your form is good, then you can move over to the straight. And the thing is, try, this is not a matter of going fast. You're not using a straight razor to get the quickest shave possible. So take your time when stropping, just to make sure that you're not going faster than your form can handle. And if you want to practice going faster to be able to do that, practice with the butter knife so you don't cut your strop. Okay, I think that covers it. Again, Pete Hendricks, Hendricks Classics. Thanks so much.